So far, the things that we've been doing have been, uh, what are we doing? Right. Hmm. Number three, what was our third goal? I don't even know. <sighs> oh, I just had it. Our second week was to, oh. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to Motivational Money number four. This is a series that I am doing in conjunction with my friend Gina Pearson. I will link her channel below. And this is a series where we are trying to motivate one another to make small changes over time to reach our health and fitness goals, whatever they may be. Our first goal was our water goal, whatever that is for you. The second week we added in moving our bodies twice a week for 30 minutes. Last week our goal was to eat three meals a day and two snacks. So those are the three goals that we've been working towards so far. Let me just share with you that this past week, I don't think I met any of those goals. This past week was Thanksgiving, so I did not hit the gym at all. I didn't go for any walks. I did not meet my water goal. My water goal is three bottles of water a day. And I believe, I'm um, just checking my notes here. No, I didn't. I met my water goal on Tuesday. That was it. Um, so that was a, an epic fail. As far as eating, I would say I definitely ate three meals a day and I got in some snacks. Definitely did in between meals. So... And I would not say that my eating was terrible because even though it was Thanksgiving week, um, I had mentioned in my last video that my thing, this is just for me, and you may want to do this as well, is not eating any holiday food if it's not the holiday. So for Thanksgiving, I did not eat any Thanksgiving food before Thanksgiving. I didn't indulge in any pies or anything like that. And after Thanksgiving, I think the only thing that I ate was some, a piece of leftover spinach pie, which has very little spinach in it and is mostly cheese. So I did well with that, that goal. Um, I think I made pretty good food choices. I'm just looking over what, yeah, I did. I made some very good food choices, I think. Um, fish. Um, shakes. I had some vegetables for lunch one day. So yeah, um, pretty, I did pretty well. So this week what we're adding in is tracking, food tracking. Um, I track my food. So if you already track your food, then it's meal planning. So I'll show you what I use. This is what I use. This is a happy planner. And this is the fitness extension and it has places for each meal and then exercise at the bottom and then water. So this works for me. This is not a necessity. I used to do a food log just on a piece of paper, you know, just write down what you're eating. It's not a big deal as far as what it, it doesn't have to be beautiful. It just has to be whatever works for you. And why I like to keep track of what I'm eating is it keeps me accountable to myself. Um, I want to know what I'm eating and it makes me more conscious. Do I really want to eat those M&Ms? Which I did and forgot to write down. But do I really want to eat those M&Ms and then, and then have to write it down? Because I don't like to write down stuff. You know, I'd rather write down healthy things that I want to eat not you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so um i already do the tracking thing so if you do the tracking thing perfect if you don't do the tracking thing all you need to be doing this week is just a food log just listing what you ate 
Um, and if you do that already, it's meal planning. So I don't meal plan. So that is my goal for the week is to meal plan. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write out what I'm gonna eat for each meal, obviously. Um, usually, I know what I usually have for breakfast is a cup of coffee with some sugar-free vanilla creamer, and I drink protein shakes. I drink, right now I'm drinking the Muscle Milk Light. I also drink the EAS, their version of light too. Um, and I like those and they're quick and they're easy for me and I do enjoy those. Usually, I'm just gonna flip back. I do eat some homemade chicken soup. I really like it. I buy chicken thighs um, and then I buy frozen chopped onions and then this frozen vegetables for soup it's called and it's like bell peppers and carrots and celery, more onions, what have you. And then I'll also buy a bag of those sliced carrots. They look like waffle cut or something like that. And um, I pull the skins off the chicken. I put it in a crock pot, not a crock pot, a big stock pot <laughs> with um, chicken broth. And I cook those for a long time. And when they s start coming off the bone, I uh, add in all those vegetables and I'll eat that every day for lunch because I like it, I like soup, it's easy for me to prepare and then have, it's low calorie, it's got good protein, so that's what I eat. I also eat a lot of fish. I think I'm pronouncing it right, swai. I will put it right here uh, what it is. How I cook it is I put it in the toaster oven, plain, straight up, and I bake it, and then I'll put um, some wasabi sauce on it. I'll eat it with vegetables. Typically, uh, I need to get some vegetables in the house. So in order for me to meal plan, I'm gonna have to make a list of food. I need to go to the grocery store anyway. So that is what I will do. I'm gonna, I'll put the chicken recipe, chicken soup recipe below too. I'll put that in the description box in case you're interested in making it. It is really good. You can use chicken breast, but I like dark meat better. I might even do a video on how to make it. You never know. So yeah, those are our goals. They'll all be listed in the description box below. I would encourage you to hop on over to Gina's channel and see her video as well. She's got a great channel. She's a lovely, lovely woman. Um, and please, if you are on board with any of this motivational thing that we're doing here, if you're following along, some of it, part of it, all of it, um, comment below. Let me know how you're doing with your goals. And I would love to hear about all that. Gina's getting a lot of comments on her channel, on her, in her comment section. So um, that's really great just to keep up with what subscribers and viewers are up to. And as far as me not meeting my goals this week, I really don't feel terrible about it. And I'll tell you why is because, you know, every day is a new beginning and I am not getting into a defeatist attitude. I don't want to think, oh, you know, you didn't meet your, any of your goals this past week. And so none of it is, this is never going to work. No, it's going to work. You know, it's about doing the best that I can do and that you can do because that's all we can do is our best. And some days we're going to fail, but I know that I need to just get back up on that horse or bicycle or whatever and just keep it moving. Keep it moving because I want to be healthy. Actually, I'm filming this on Sunday because Tomorrow, my husband and I are going for heart scans. There's nothing wrong with either one of us. Uh, heart disease does run in my husband's family. And I suggested that he get checked out. And that very day, he got a Groupon for a 3D heart scan for $27. That is God. And when he called to make the appointment, they said they were doing a study and they're doing a couple study. And would I 
be willing to have a heart scan as well. So we're both going for heart scans. I'm sure everything will be fine, but because we're doing that, it's gonna to be tough for me to film, edit, and upload this video tomorrow. So I'm doing it today. So yeah, that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know what you're up to. I would love to find out <laughs> how you guys are doing. And I will see you in my next video. I love you. Mwah. Bye.